I remember, you're my eyes. No way. Players, show us your weapons. Nero is directed by Henry Juice and Ariel Shulman and stars David Franco and Emma Roberts. And it's pretty much a story of the deep web and how there's this game called Nerve and you can either be a watcher or player and a player gets dares and in a, in a certain amount of money if they, you know, finish the dare. And the watchers really just watch. This movie is a lot better than I anticipated it to be because the trailers really do give away everything. And usually, like, movies like The Shallows and The Gallows, that rhymed, um, they really do give away everything in their trailers, and those movies really aren't that great. With movies like 10 Cloverfield Lane, I mean, they give away virtually nothing, and that movie was amazing. But I was pleasantly surprised that this movie gave away a lot, and that it actually still maintained my entertainment. And Emma Roberts and Dave Franco, they do have chemistry, even though Dave Franco sort of drags Emma Roberts around. Other than that, their performances were decent, because with a movie with an interesting set, an interesting script, an interesting cinematography director, usually the thing that is the downfall of that is either the actors and their acting skills, or the casting directors casting someone horrible, like in Psycho with Vince Vaughn as Norman Bates. And for kind of like a teen drama thriller, this movie has better cinematography, better lighting, and pretty much better story development. It's not necessarily a Nicholas Sparks drama with just these characters running around screaming, one will die, you'll cry, whatever. It's not necessarily like that. Even the small friends that you barely get to know, and I honestly forgot all their names, but when you actually sort of get to know them, you sort of feel bad for them because the story design is... Uh, better than 90% of these teen thrillers that have been coming out lately. So the premise itself it is totally something that I was worried about and most people were worried about because it's a computer game. We saw Unfriended, that movie pretty much failed with its plot, but this movie has a better plot than the trailer puts it out to have. So it's about this computer game, just like Pokemon Go, people are like killing themselves while doing it, they're getting, they're getting kidnapped, they're seeing people die. So, pretty much with Nerve, it totally seems like something that would happen. Because with Nerve, what it is, is you get money for doing a dare. And if you don't do the dare, you lose all the money from all the previous dares. And even sometimes, your entire bank account can be just flushed. So, obviously these kids are going to be stupid and just go ahead and do everything. Uh, that, let's be real. That is something that can totally happen. If this app comes out called Nerve, kids are going to do it and it's going to go viral. I mean, come on. And the soundtrack for this movie, it's not necessarily the most original, but it's good for a teen drama. It's more of kind of like songs that are popular right now. In like five years, we'll look back and we'll be like, those songs are horrible. Pretty much like Spring Breakers. When I first saw it a while back, the soundtrack was, you know, Skrillex, you know, that was in. And now when I watched it, like, I think, like, two months ago, I heard Skrillex, and it just caught me off guard. And that's what this movie will be. It'll be popular for about, like, the time that it's out, and then the time that it's out on DVD. But then after that, it'll pretty much lose its value, like most movies like this. I think that's probably the biggest issue with Nerve, is that the watchability rate is a bit low. The big downfall for this movie really is the dares. So I think, like, the first act and a half to two acts is really just... Emma Roberts and Dave Franco running around doing these dares. And then after a while, it gets a bit bland, so they try and throw in some drama with these two friends, V and Sydney. They pretty much just go at it and start fighting. It gets pretty deep. And I don't really understand why they needed to put that in there. Another large portion of the movie that wasn't at all a big portion, but they kept bringing it up and not really explaining. Emma Roberts and Dave Franco did have a bit of a conversation about it, but it was very brief, but her brother's death, her brother, um, was it suicide? <sighs> I think I forgot. Dave Franco and Emma Roberts do, you know, throw it around, you know, they talk about it, whatever, but then it's just kind of done. And at the starting of the third act, there was nothing that I could point out as really ruining the movie. And then it came down to, like, the quote-unquote final round of Nerve. 
And it was unbelievably realistic. They had like this coliseum rented out with screens and hundreds of people. And I hated the ending. The ending is probably one of the worst endings of this year. The ending completely crashes and burns the entire plot. And with a teen drama like this, it's gonna end happy. That's not even a spoiler. That doesn't even count as a spoiler. It's gonna end happy. That's just how it does. And I was really hoping that Nerve would be different than that, but it just wasn't. The ending was beyond cringeworthy. People were laughing, and the second that it started to have, like, you know, the happy ending, people got up and left. They knew that it was gonna end. Coming down to the last shot, it was a cheesy set up to a sequel ending, and then it ended. So to keep this one short, Nerve is okay. It's not good, it's not bad, it's okay. The acting is decent from most. Some of the side pieces, friends, whatever, seem a little ludicrous, I'd say. And the entire plot is just ludicrous. The cops don't care, the hacker people, I, it's just very jumbled from the third act. But the cinematography is decent, lighting is great, and the CGI is not that horrible. So I'm going to give the, I'd say, bland and mediocre nerve a C. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am happy that this movie did not come out either this week or next week because Suicide Squad is just going to be that entire thing. I already have my tickets ready for Thursday night, so look out for the review for Suicide Squad.